Hi guys, I'm Laura. And I'm Free. This is day two of Free's Patty certification. And if you haven't seen the first video, we will link it to this one so that you can go back and check out her first day of training. But let's just dive right in. <laughs> Day two. Day two. How are you feeling? Good. You excited? Yeah. How was yesterday? Tiring. Totally exhausting. <laughs> but you did it. Yes. You I survived. Did. That's correct. And now? Suiting up. Don't call me suit up. I'm not going to film you suiting up because uh, suiting up is not pretty. It's not elegant. <laughs> right? And then remember one wrist on one side, one wrist on the other, and then lay down into it. This, remember? Well, this wasn't the hardest part for you, but, well, it was the hardest part, but you had to do it in yeah. a harder situation. <laughs> yeah, putting so. on a BCD in the water, especially with the kind that I had, was very, very difficult. Yeah, it was really hard. So, Freeze, they, she had her go in the water without her BCD on, and then she had to suit up. But the problem is, is she's wearing gloves, so it makes it that much harder to grip things. And then the one you were wearing, the one I was wearing was super easy. I put it on, I went clip, clip, done. Yeah, I put mine on and I had to clip in the front and then there was a strap that I had to pull through my legs and then I had to thread a buckle through one side and then put it into like another buckle on the other side but on each side were weights. So I had to pull up like seven pounds to like clip it, it was a nightmare. All while wearing gloves that really restricted her movement. Eventually she had to let out some of the air in her BCD so that it sunk a little bit lower in the water. <laughs> you look like you're absolutely exhausted there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exhausting just doing anything with all that like gear on, like you can barely move. Yeah, it's... I felt so bad for you because you just like already you're like I'm done I'm done and you just started okay so now you have your stuff on and I'm trying to think what we're doing here what are we doing what are we doing what am I doing <laughs> oh I know what oh. you're doing <laughs> <laughs> so I had to uh, um, push Mama, do a diver, diver's toe, diver's toe. Basically, if your dive buddy's too tired to, <laughs> if, you're too ti if your dive buddy's lazy, <laughs> <laughs> then you have to learn different ways of um, towing them. And so in this one, Freeze is, you can see she's holding onto my arm there, and she's pushing me, and I'm just kind of laying there like like a floater. I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, this part was difficult because it's hard to, to tow people who are bigger than you. Yeah, and, and with I always find it hard swimming at the surface with my scuba gear on. Oh yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah. Like you're moving me, but it doesn't really look like yeah. you're moving me. <laughs> so with me, I'm wearing a 7mm wetsuit and then a 7mm body suit, like three-quarter body suit. So I basically have two wetsuits on that would total 14 mils. And then I have the hood like Freeze does and the gloves as well. So then she has to do a second toe. Where essentially with this one I had to grab onto the valve part of the, um, you know you have a scuba tank and then there's the valve part that you turn to let out the air. I had to grab onto that part so that I could kick backwards. You can <laughs> see how exhausted I am here. Yeah, <laughs> and this is like the start of the day. <laughs> but so she had to demonstrate different towing techniques. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, I know what it is. You had to put air in your BCD. Oh, yeah, I had to auto inflate my BCD. Yes, yeah, so you can see her taking her regulator out of her mouth and then putting another hose in her mouth where she was. Um, yeah, you had to press a button and then breathe into this little mouth hole that almost looked like a snorkel would. Yeah. That was good, you did good. Yeah. Oh, oh this, this one. one. This, I love this one. <laughs> this one's really cool. So this one's a free-flowing regulator. So I basically there's a release valve on the regulator where you push it and air just starts going through. So um, if your regulator fails, it'll always fail in the open position. Um, so you're never out of air, but it'll do this where it's just free-flowing. So you essentially just have to sip the air like you would from a water fountain, which is a really cool feeling actually. <laughs> 
Yeah, so she does not have her regulator in her mouth right now. It's out of her mouth, just kind of beside her mouth, and she's just basically drinking the air, for lack of a better word. Yeah. Like, it, it blows my mind that you're underwater. And then she asked her to check to see how much air she had left, and it used a lot of air, obviously, that way. And so you can see that she's using hand signals there to let her know how much air she has left. Oh, this one. I had to take off my mask and swim for 20 seconds, which is very difficult because you can see I kept hitting the bottom because <laughs> I didn't really know where my BCD inflator was. <laughs> and I had, I guess, better things to worry about. <laughs> so I was just colliding with the bottom. But I did it. Yeah, you did. And then she tapped me and she was like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> this honestly is the thing I hate the most of the scuba training is having to take off your mask and then put it on underwater. <laughs> it looks like I'm in so much pain. I know. <laughs> well, and it's cold too. It's really cold on your face, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you're trying to keep water out of your nose and your... <laughs> you can't get it. Your like, so well, because you're trying to do it with the gloves on and it's... So if you're in the pool doing this, think about it. If you're in the pool and you didn't have gloves so on... That would be so easy. And a hood. But yeah, you can see how clear it is. Like, the visibility is just fantastic. Yeah, it was really great. Yeah, and so then I had to, oh, I start floating. <laughs> but it's so hard, because you have your hood on, and your hair is sort of coming out of your hood a little bit, and you have your gloves, which makes it that much harder. I think she has to help you with your hair again, because- Yeah, because it's just- it's You can actually clear it, because you had, yeah, your hood was caught a little bit. Yeah, so she just, she helped me with that. Yeah. So this one I've sped up. Oh, is it the BCD? Yeah. Of the BC oh. Yeah, so we're watching a sped up version of this. Yes, yeah, so this in reality was much slower. So she has to take off her BCD and then put it back on and watch. Mind, watch. My BCD, <laughs> my BCD has all my weights. Yeah. And I have very floaty neoprene, so I just start oh. floating. Oh, she's trying so hard not to float up, but oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. She's trying so hard to get it on and she just, she's struggling so much like you're, yes, because that's a really good point. You do have a weight belt on there, but there's only six pounds of weight yeah, on. Yeah, there's probably like at least 12 pounds of weights on my BCD, plus the actual BCD is heavy. Yeah. And like the air is heavy. Because it has a back plate on it, uh, so. <laughs> there you find <laughs> you finally got it on. But yeah, that's where all your weights were, so it's really hard for you to <laughs> <laughs> It looks so much more hectic this way. Sped up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, my the, what happened was my crotch strap ended up getting wrapped around my regulator um hose. Oh yeah. And it was so hard to lift up those things and get no them way. in. Oh, it was so awful. Oh, <laughs> I kept just falling backwards because my BCD pushes me um, backwards when I'm underwater. Uh, it's either, I, no, it pushes me forwards when I'm underwater, sorry. So it's very difficult to, um... oh, there we go. I think you end up, yeah, she, she ends up taking off her glove because she couldn't do it up. Yeah, she took off my gloves so that I could do it a little bit easier. Yeah. Very cold. I know, as soon as you take it off, it's like freezing. That's good though. Okay, so this is the snorkel thing. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So basically, I just had to switch from snorkel to regulator and back. And then be able to clear it. Mm -hmm. um, like, push air through it so that I could switch if I needed to. This was pretty easy. I didn't have a super amount of trouble with this. Yeah, it's just doing back and forth. So when you would take out your um, regulator and put the snorkel in, you'd have water in your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'd have to... And then you'd have water in your snorkel. So you'd have to like blow it out. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Uh, you can see it's much clearer when we're not... When I'm Flailing not struggling around. with the bottom. <laughs> This is just another clearing of my mask. Because we had to do clearing of my mask in confined open water, and then we had to do clearing mask in open water. Right. So I had to just clear my mask, even though I had already done it. 
your hair just keeps getting caught in it, mm -hmm. which makes it harder for it to clear. Yeah, you had to do it a lot. Ooh. And this was, I had to, we had to go over sensitive bottom uh, with one of the things so that I could practice my buoyancy. And so this was one of the wrecks, which is really cool. The wrecks are really awesome. On day three, you'll see a really cool wreck. But it was neat there because it was crystal clear. And even though it was really cold, we were fine in the wetsuits. I was totally fine. Were you fine? I was fine. There was some part, some, on the first day or the second day, I yeah. think, my, the back of my wetsuit got unzipped. So that was pretty cool near the end. Yeah, that's um, right. You got cold that time. Look how big those planks are. Yeah. It's really crazy because you see ships like out sailing and you're like, oh, that's not that big. But if you see them underwater, they're huge. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's like those chains you can see, mm -hmm. like that's like, massive yeah. the size of my head each one of them so it's like it's kind of scary to like look at oh look at that it is it's a bit ominous mm -hmm. you know you see that these boats were once floating are now at the bottom of the lake mm -hmm. and they the the, the the really cool thing about this was this was probably 15 feet from the shore yeah yeah you could literally snorkel over you could to literally it. snorkel over to it and it was probably 10 feet down yeah. Um, so it was really all the wrecks that we went to were decently close to shore and were not that far down. So Tobermory is a really, really cool place. Yeah, exactly. So this day we finished fairly early and we ended up, uh, there's a place called the Grotto in Tobermory, which was so funny because it's like, we just spent four hours in the water, let's go back and spend more time in the water. <laughs> but it just was, you know, you're there, so you should go and see it. And so yeah. we went, we had lunch and we went to see the grotto. Fries had a really hard time jumping into the grotto. It was so cold. I went in. <laughs> I ended up going in at, like, at some point. And yeah. I remember there was this, the really cool thing about the grotto was that it, it was pretty shallow and then it just dropped off like crazy. Oh yeah. So yeah, that was really neat. We didn't have our wetsuits. We should have actually brought it. We should have we should, what we should have done is brought my wetsuit so I would have worn the one piece and you could have worn the other piece. Yeah. Uh, and then we would have been fine, but we didn't really think about it. We were just the whole weekend we were so tired <laughs> that we didn't really have good planning skills. Yeah. So the next day was the final day. And the fastest day, yeah, I think, because we were pretty much done, and you just had a few skills that you had to do, and so that uh, went fairly quickly. Yeah. So we will in video three show you day three and freeze getting certified. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified when we post new videos. And I will link to video one and video three in this video when video three is published. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.